completely foo-fooed away, quite the opposite. Every bit of scientific evidence and proof shows it works. And again, you now have the luxury that I have had where, we've, where you can see physical evidence that it works and meet real people. And not just, you know, Joe Smith who runs the, the diner or the dry cleaner or a very successful teacher. And there's nothing wrong with those people or professions because they may be using this technique as well. But you're looking at people who have used this not only with themselves, but their families. And in some of the people here in the room, uh, the, the royal families here, which we're grateful are here through, you know, decades and decades and decades, you know, in ruling lands. I mean, this is something that's is passed down generationally. So this is something that really works. Now, Napoleon Hill, I mentioned his story, how he learned this from Andrew Carnegie at the turn of the century, the richest man in the world. He puts it this way. He said, the key to success is one thing. One, define your dream. That's number one, define your dream. And what that means is, is it means clearly know or define what you want. So in order for you to achieve things in your life, you need to know what you want. You go to a restaurant and get the menu. You need to decide what you want so you can order it. You can just say, bring me some food because you may want food, that's fine, you'll get some food. But it may not be exactly to your liking. But if you want something specific, you can ask for something specific in the restaurant, order it, and it will come to you. Life is the same way. Define your dream. Determine and define exactly what you want. That's the first thing he said. He said the key that he learned from Carnegie was define your dream. And then secondly, get a burning desire for its achievement. Again, this was language back at the turn of the century. So I'm going to kind of translate. And I'm sorry, I'm translating in English for those of you whose first language here is, is uh, not English. Define your dream. Determine exactly what you want. Clearly identify what you want. And then get a burning desire for its achievement. So the question is, what is the definition of burning desire? What is the definition of define your dream? We're going to talk about that. So how do we get a burning desire? How do we define our dream? We're going to talk about this. And this is really a key element. Now we're getting into kind of the specific techniques on how to apply the basic principle, which is use your brain, transmit a frequency with power and intensity, Keep that transmission over a long duration, and then it will come. Now, there's one thing, if you do that, there's one thing that could hinder it, which we'll talk about later. But let's just talk about how Napoleon Hill defined that, that mechan those mechanics in English, which is define your dream. So let's put, let's put it now into real working practice. First off... If you go to any success seminar or read any of the success books, again, I think you'll find now that many of them are misguided and wrong because they may give you some elements of what we're teaching here, but also other elements that make, basically make it not work. You're getting a recipe. This recipe works all the time when followed. If you start changing the recipe, if you start changing the ingredients, adding or subtracting ingredients, or changing the proportion of ingredients, or change the order in which the ingredients are mixed together, you're not going to get the same result. So we're giving you the pure secret recipe that has never been released to the public with all of the ingredients in the exact proportion. Now, you can read thousands of books and you can get bits and pieces, but you, there isn't one out there that gives that we've that, that, that myself or any of the, the people here, my colleagues, have been exposed to 
that give this exact recipe. Therefore, the evidence also shows that there's nothing else out there that has delivered these results, the speed and effectiveness in terms of getting results that you want, getting what you want fast with less effort. This is, this is it. First, define your dream. Now, before we talk about defining your dream, when I say that, people start thinking, I want a car, I want a house, I want a better job, I want to have, I want to hit the lottery, I want to travel all over the world, I want a better relationship, I want a relationship, I want to have a better relationship with my kids, I want to have a better social standing, I want to have, I want to lose weight, I want to get rid of my illness, I want better health, all these different dreams come. But there's one thing that is senior to everything when it's defining your dream. And it's the one thing that we are, are going to be focusing on as our template. It's the most important thing. That is this. Number one, number one, number one. Always the most important. And that is this. You, you must always have as a goal, and it is your goal subconsciously anyway, but you must always have as a goal to feel good right now. Your goal, <clears throat> your biggest dream should always be, I want to feel good right now. Not tomorrow, not when you get your raise, not when you get your new car, not when you take your vacation. Your goal should be to feel good right now. Feel as good as you can. Now, let me define, what does feel good mean? Feel good first and foremost means being outrageously happy. Let's use some different words to describe some various emotions. This is a emotion, not physical body feeling. Boy, my body feels good. Well, when your body feels good, doesn't your emotions feel good too sometimes? We're not talking about physical body first. We're talking about emotions. Feeling good being happy, being content, being settled, feeling secure, being confident, feeling grateful, feeling blessed, feeling bliss, feeling contentment, feeling joy, feeling exhilaration, feeling exuberance. Think of the different words. They all describe different feelings, don't they? There's a difference from feeling exhilaration and feeling contentment. They're both pretty good feelings, but they're different. So the real definition for you is feel good now. If you want to clear, clearly define that even more, it's feel as good as you can right now. And if you want to define that even more, your goal should be to feel good and keep feeling better. Because you have to be going towards something. Does this make sense? Your goal should always, always, always be feel good now and feel better. So it should be to feel good, as good as you can, and keep feeling better. 
That's what your goal should be. Now for you, based on your situation, your history, a million different reasons, your specific definition of feeling good will change from hour to hour, day to day, week to week, month to month. Sometimes you really just want to feel secure. And to you, that's going to be the best feeling to feel because maybe you've been dealing with a lot of insecurity. And for some of you, you want to feel content because you haven't been feeling very contented and you want that feeling of contentment. And from some of you, you want to feel love because you've missed that. You missed hugs and feeling appreciated from people and loved from people. So you're, you're craving that feeling. And from some of you, you want to feel exhilaration because maybe you have felt bored and you're really craving a better feeling to you, which is called exhilaration. So there isn't a right or wrong good feeling. There's not a right or wrong good feeling. Each one of you will select the feeling and that'll change from hour to hour in some cases, day to day in some cases, week to week in some cases, month to month in some cases. The key is you want to always feel good. Do you wake up in the morning with a smile on your face and feeling how excited you are about the day? And do you jump out of bed and start whistling for no reason or singing in the shower and feeling how lucky you are and how happy you are and how blessed you are and how wonderful life is and how excited you are to experience all these incredible things today in your life? Most people, that's not the case. That's your goal. Do you go throughout the day with eyes open? Good sauce. Good, good, good sauce right there. I hope you guys were listening. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Here we go. Awesome. What's up, family? Grand rising and happy Tuesday. Hope everybody is having a blessed morning. I know I am. I feel so good. I feel so blessed. I feel amazing. Uh, I am expecting miracles and I'm getting miracles. Everything is working in our favor. And it's just, wow, I just feel so great, guys, for real, for real. I haven't felt like this in a very long time. So, you know, excuse me if I'm speaking so highly of how amazing I feel, but the energy is great. Um, you know, I had a really, really good morning routine this morning. I got a chance to get my full morning routine in, gratitude walk. I did prayer, I did my meditation, I did my yoga this morning. Man, yoga is the man. Uh, yoga is amazing. Uh, I, I got my yoga in, I did my meditation, my visualization, I did my uh, my uh, my journaling, I did my reading. Uh, I did everything this morning. I traded, we came up, we made profits this morning with the team. So, you know, I feel amazing, right? Like, think about that. And it's only... And it's only 10, 15 a.m. And now I get a, ch a chance to, you know, basically pour into the family this amazing energy. And I'm glad that you guys give me the opportunity to, you know, do this because this is something that's amazing. And I'm very, very excited. So let's express some gratitude really quick so we could get right into the call. What is one thing that you are grateful for this morning? Um, let's make sure that we are expressing that gratitude. I am grateful for God. I am grateful for my health. I am grateful that I am nine days in a row with my morning routine, which feels so dope. Nine days in a row. Um, I am grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my mom, my dad, my little brother, my goddaughter, Dariana. I'm extremely grateful for uh, Katie and my whole entire organization, the team, the leaders within my organization, the books that I'm reading, John C. Maxwell, my journal, the whole Mornings with Nano community, everybody on IG everybody who supports me, everybody who loves me. I am grateful for them. I am grateful for food. I am grateful for family. I am grateful for the books that I'm reading. I am grateful for wisdom. I am grateful for my healthy mind. I am grateful for my mentors, Matt Rosa, Jason Brown, uh, Alex Morton, Darwin Lopez, Matt Gribby, Sean Murphy. 
I'm extremely grateful for uh, my sister, Mina. Today is Mina's birthday, guys. Um, so if you guys don't know Mina, do me a favor. Go wish her a happy birthday really quick. She is a Mornings with Nano. Uh, she's an OG on Mornings with Nano. So, you know, let's wish my sister, uh, Mina, a happy birthday. Um, she she definitely deserves this. She's one of the realest people that you guys will ever meet. She's a queen. She's a top earner in the business. But outside of that, she has a heart of gold. And I am extremely grateful for Mina and everything that she stands for and everything that she's about. She's not even on the call, but I'm wishing her nothing but the best. And she knows that my love for her goes deep. So we're wishing her love. And I'm just extremely grateful for today's call. Now, Let's get right into today's call really quick. I'm excited for it. I'm very, very excited for today's call. It was something that I wanted, I've been wanting to do for some time, but I need to ask for permission first on this call. Do I have your guys' permission to make you guys a little bit uncomfortable on the call? Okay. Do I have that permission? Okay. The things that I'm going to talk about today also as well um, is something that is controversial. Um, so if there's people around you that you may not want to hear this information, let them know to get away from you because this may not be information that certain people want to hear. This is going to be some really, in some really deep information that I want to make sure that I wake you guys up to, right? Um, I want to make sure that I wake you guys up to this information so that you guys can become aware. I'm not going to dive as deep as I want to due to the fact that I don't want to step on any toes and, you know, you just never know who's watching or whatever. But I want to make sure it's crazy because even 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 about to talk about it, you know, my 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 heart started to race because it's, it, it's so real, the stuff that I'm about to talk to you guys about. But I wanted you guys to really become aware of what's going on in life um in general so that everybody can wake up and understand the importance of what's going on in our world and what's happening um over these next few years so um today's topic is not really it's not really a five keys to success it's not really the five tips to having a great month of august um today is more of just a conversation that i want to have with you guys um and you guys can take notes as you want. Um, I want you guys to know that I'm not an expert in the information that I am sharing, but it does come from a, an incredible good source. It comes from a very, very credible source. And um, if you see it, you'll understand. But I named today's call Wake Up and Smell the Coffee because I feel like a lot of people are truly sleeping on what's happening and are truly unaware of what's happening. And people don't know what they don't know at the end of the day. They don't know what they don't know. And that's something that I was like that. And I remember when I didn't know what I didn't know and I wasn't aware of it. Now, this is a rabbit hole that you got to be careful when you go down because it's not for everybody. So that's why I'm only going to keep it on a very surface level. Um I do advise if this is a if this is a rabbit hole that not everybody wants to go down, but I want to make sure that you guys understand how this all works. Now, right now, most people are unconscious incompetence. I'm glad that Tiffany put that out there, right? Unconscious incompetence means that they don't know and they can't do. Okay, and. The next two years are very, very important to what our, the rest of our life is going to look like, okay? And I want you guys to really take advantage of what I'm going to tell you guys right here. The next two years, in all honesty, the next two to three years could literally determine the direction of the rest of our lives. Seriously. Okay, listen to that one more time. The next two to three years can determine the direction of our lives for the rest of our lives, okay? This could determine whether you break the generational curses in your family these next two to three years. The next two to three years could determine what your future is going to be, if you're going to be able to build generational wealth for your family. These next two to three years are very, very, very crucial, okay? Now, why is that? Well, it's obvious that 
we are in a recession. Okay. Now, I want you guys to look at life and everything that is happening from an outside perspective. Okay. I want you guys to put yourself in a perspective from above the government, above everything. Like, I want you guys to look at everything. Like, if you're looking down and watching it all happen from a different perspective, I don't want you to look at it from your perspective right now. I want you to look at it from the perspective of the top. Imagine if the very, very top, whatever the very, very top is, I want you to look at it from up here. Okay, this is where I want you to look at it. So if the top is here, I want you to look at it from the morning's when nano cup. The morning's when nano cup is the perspective. Okay. And if you realize what's happening, okay, the whole goal of, let's just say the people, Okay, the people that are in control, right? The whole goal of them is control, okay? Because remember, it's more of us and less of them. So in order for them to control a big group of people, they have to find ways of controlling, okay? This is important that everybody understands this stuff, okay? So it's less of them but it's more of us. Okay. So think about it like this. Let's, let's just put it in perspective. If we think about the numbers, right? Only 5% to 10% of people live the life of day one and know the information. 90% are sleeping. They don't know what's going on. They're part of the system. Okay. So if we were to do it by the numbers, think about it. How can five people control 95 people? Right. If we were just doing it out of 100. OK, how can five people control 95 people? OK, because it's 95 versus five. So how does five win? How does five control the 95? And it's through systems. Just like anything else in life, everything is part of a system. OK, now. This is not to offend anybody here or anything like that, because in reality, we are all part of the system. But if you work a job, you are part of the system. OK, if you, you know, eat fast food, you are part of the system. OK, if you are a part of anything that's going on right now, you are part of the system. Now, let me let me make sure you guys understand this. OK. The whole goal is control. That's the goal. How can we control people? Now, the main way to control people, all right, and, and you guys may not know this, the main goal and the main way that people control is through the food and the water that we drink. Okay? This is very important that you guys understand this stuff. Okay? Listen to me very closely. I'm going to go over a few things oh, that basically is going to help you guys break this down. What is something we do every single day? We eat every day. We hydrate every day. Okay. Every day we eat. Our, their main way of controlling us, our minds and our bodies is through what we eat. Okay. The things that we eat, you, they, they, they taste so good. They are filled with so much, you know, you know, sazones and they taste so good in the whole nine. But the thing is that at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff is really bad for us. A lot of this stuff is keeping us at a low vibration. OK, fast food, meats, fish, juices that we drink. OK, even the water that we drink. A lot of us, regardless of whether you want to accept it or not, we are being poisoned on a day-to-day -day basis, okay, with the food and the things that we drink, okay? some It, it, it is so real that you got to remember this, okay? If your body is not in shape, if your body is not vibrating at the highest level, your mind can vibrate at the highest level. This is why you got to be very careful with the food that you are eating. Now, I'm going to be very clear here. 
I am not an expert at this and I have not perfected any of this my, at all. I have not perfected none of this. I still am eating certain foods that I'm not supposed to be eating. Okay, I am gradually working myself out of the system and getting into a way where I can control what I eat and making sure that everything that enters my body is very, very healthy for me. And it's a way that's going to help my body work in the way that it's supposed to work. Okay, if you ever feel lethargic, lazy, you have midday crashes, you have all of these things that are happening in your life, okay. The reason for it is because of the food that you are eating. Okay. A lot of us are not eating food and all of these chemicals are destroying our bodies. They're not allowing us to vibrate at the level that we're supposed to vibrate. They're not allowing us to feel the way we're supposed to feel. They're not allowing us to make decisions in ways that we want to make those decisions because we can't even think for ourselves because they are basically putting chemicals in these foods that make us want to want them more and more and more over and over again, okay? And you got to understand this stuff, okay? The food is one way that they control. And I could dive so much more deeper, and I know that there's people on this call that probably know more about this than I do, okay? But look at, look at how crazy this all is. The system is designed for all of us to fail. And the system is designed for them to make profit. Why do I say that? Well, think about it. If you're feeding a group of individuals nothing but bad chemicals, guess what's going to happen over time? What do you think happens over time when we start feeding ourselves with all of these chemicals? Does anybody know what happens to us over time? Right? We start to get diseases. We start to feel bad. We start to have to go to where? Cancer. And then guess what? Listen to this. Listen to this. We start to deal with health issues. When we deal with health issues, where do we have to go? Where do we have to go when we deal with health issues? We have to go to the hospital. Now, the hospital is a whole nother system. OK, now, when you go to the hospital, what happens? Right. They feed you with what? Medicines. OK, because it goes from the food to the hospitals, then the hospital goes to the pharmacies. Right. The pharmacies go with insurance. Right. It's a whole system. This is how they do it. You got to be paying attention to what's going on in, in, in the world. You have to see it, to, to pay attention to it, okay? So you think about it. They feed us all of these things every day. The food, the water, the air that we breathe, okay? Remember, they need control. Remember, the whole point of the whole system is control, Okay? So all they want to do is feed us this food, make us sick, give us diseases, you name it, we got them. Yo, even some, you guys, some of you guys may not even know this, but yo, even the vaccines that they give kids when they are born, those things cannot even be trusted. Okay. Even the vaccines that they give us when we are born, those things can't even be trusted. Okay. So I may, I, I just... I could dive so much more deeper into this stuff, but I'm not. I'm going to just keep it very surface level, okay? Because the food industry is one thing. From the food industry, okay, what happens there, we eat, it's fast food, the whole night, everything happens, right? Now, what tends to happen is we end up getting sick. We end up catching diseases. We end up having all of this stuff, which means, guess what? You're going to go into what? The next system, which is the hospital, where now they got to perform surgeries on you. They have to give you medicines. They got to charge you for all of this stuff because, remember, the insurance industry has to make money, too. Understand that. You got you to gotta remember this stuff. So now, guess what? They do that. Now, 
the pharmaceutical industry is making money. Okay. Everybody is a part of a system and you got to be aware of how it actually works. Okay. This is all one big system and the news is one of the worst ones. Because if you think about it, if you go on the news, okay, sit down and actually think about it. What are they doing on the news? What do they feed you on the news? What are the commercials that are on while you're watching the news? Fast food commercials and so on and so forth. So if you think about it, if you look up the emotional guidance scale, Right. If you look up the emotional guidance scale really quick, I want everybody to go on your YouTube. I mean, sorry, go on your on your on your Google, I'm saying. And look up the emotional guidance scale. I know I've done this before, but just look at it real quick. And I want you to look at what number 22 is on the emotional guidance scale. And I want you to type it in the chat box. Right. What does the emotional guidance scale show you at number 22? OK, what does it read? Okay, what does number 22 on the emotional guidance scale read? All right. If you think about it, look at it, right? Fear. Right? I'm not even going to look at it because I know you guys are going to are going to type it, right? Fear. Grief. Depression. Powerlessness and victims. Guys, what do you think the what, what do you think the news does every day? What do you think the news does every day? They feed us fear. They make us feel grief. They have people depressed. They help people. They, 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 they get people to feel powerlessness. They help people feel like victims. Like, why is this happening to me? And at a low vibration is where you attract. Okay. At a low vibration is where you attract all the low vibrational things that are there. It's a trick. Remember, they know this information. The things that we know, they know. But the thing is that we use it for positive. They use it for negative. They use it for control because the same way you can use it to influence somebody and inspire somebody is the same way that you can use it to deteriorate somebody and also control somebody. If somebody doesn't know this, they're going to be easily influenced because they don't know what they don't know. So the whole point is to keep you at a low vibration, at a very, very low vibration, because at a low vibration, they can control you. At a low vibration, you can't think for yourself because your mind is filled with fears, with doubts, with insecurities, with victim mentality, with depression. How can you think for yourself if you are filled with those emotions? It's impossible. Right. You can't even think you can't even create. You can't create at a low vibration. It's impossible. You can't create in that vibration. You can't create with those feelings. All right. You got to know this stuff. I love what Adam said in the chat box. Those who tell the stories control society. But you sit down and you think about this stuff and you're like, man. It's all part of the system. Feed them foods, feed them waters, feed them all of this information. Social media is all controlled, too. I hope you guys know that stuff. I hope you guys know that social media is also controlled. They have algorithms that will put us. You don't see that the moment anything happens, it's all you see on social media. School systems are, that's another system. I don't even want to talk about school because I know that there's a lot of kids on this call. And I don't even want to go into that because I don't want to make anybody feel some type of way. So we'll leave the school systems for another day. Right. But I want to make sure that you guys understand this information so you guys can wake up. OK, every single one of you should not be focused on what's going on on the outside world. All right. You need to be focused on how you can become the best version of yourself. This is where the focus needs to be. You need to be focus, focusing on how can you grow to the best version of you? How can you escape 
the matrix. Okay. How can you escape this matrix? And it's by figuring out who you are, finding your purpose. Okay. You got to find your purpose. You got to find somebody. You got to find something you love and dedicate your life to it. But if you guys are allowing yourselves to fall into this system, you will get lost in that system and you're done for. And that's a very, very, very tough statement for, to, for me to make. But it is the truth. If you fall, you're done. Finito, your life is done for. You're basically like they say. They say most people die at the age of 25, but they don't get buried until they're 75. Why do you think they say that? Why do you think they say that quote? They say most people die at the age of 25, but they don't get buried until they're 75. It's because at age 25, by age 25, 30 years old, you're already so, so deep into the system that you can't even go into it. You can't even get out of it at that point. Why you think when you tell somebody, yo, I can teach you how to make money from home and we, yo, we're going to become millionaires and all of this stuff. Why you think they look at you like you have three heads and like it's impossible? Because they don't know anything else but the system. They don't know anything else but that. All they know is wake up, go to work, nine to five, get home, do what you got to do, go to sleep, wake up, do it again five days a week. The weekends are your escape where you go out, you drink alcohol, you eat these foods, all of this other stuff, and back to work on Monday. Alcohol, you know how bad that is for us. I drink it every once in a while. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I'm I, I I I'm I'm a work in progress. But dude, alcohol is destroys your mind. Destroys your mind. Walk down where where I live. Walk down your hood and find how many fast food restaurants, how many pharmacies, and how many liquor liquor stores there are. And you will be surprised. And then look for a healthy food spot and see how many you find. Listen to that again. Smoke shops, alcohol, fast food restaurants, pharmacies. If you are from the hood, you see them on every single corner. Look for a healthy food spot. I could find one in a, in a mile radius. One. You got to be paying attention to what's happening. You got to be paying attention to the way all of this is working and the way that stuff is being promoted and what's being promoted and the way things are doing. Bro, you know how many of my friends I've lost to weed? They're lost. They're gone. There's no getting them back. All they do is wake, wake up and smoke their whole day. They're lost. They're, they, they, all they want to do is that. So they, they're lost. They, they, they don't have no purpose. How can you think straight when all you do is smoke weed all day? That's all they love to do. They spend hundreds and thousands of dollars every month on it. But you tell them to invest into themselves and they'll curse you out. They'll be like, nah, bro, you crazy. I don't want to do that. I don't take, I don't want to take risk. I can't take no risk, bro. You crazy. But they want to smoke every day. And, and you know what's the worst part? They want to put the, the Fonto on it, too. Which <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's sad when I see it. It, it. it honestly breaks my heart when I see it. Right? And all of this stuff is also controlled. Remember, the, the reason they, they make it legal is because now this is a new way of control, fam. You guys got to be paying attention. Paying attention. Please pay attention to what's happening. You got to know what's going on. Now, is there people that can use weed for 
good things, of course, right? You can use it to think more and so on and so forth. But most are not doing it for that. Most are doing it to escape. They're doing it to escape, okay? You guys got to understand this stuff. Most are doing it just to escape, escape the reality that they're living. And the longer that they do it for, that's what they get used to. That's what they want to do. Escape the trauma, escape the reality, escape the situations, the financial, the problems. They do it to escape that stuff. You think it's easy what's going on nowadays? Let me tell you guys something that you guys may not want to hear. If you think it's hard now, prepare for this winter. If you think it's hard now. If you think it's hard now, get ready for the winter. I just want to make sure that you guys are preparing yourself. Please prepare yourself for what's coming. Work on yourself every single day. Find new ways to make money. Look for ways because we don't know what's coming. I don't know what's coming. But what I do know is that those who are not ready and who are not prepared will suffer. It's the truth. I know some of you guys do not want to hear it, but this is the way life works, man. And it is unfortunate that we have to be a part of this. And it is unfortunate that we are aware of this information and most aren't. But that is why we must be the examples for these individuals. We have to be the example for our friends, for our families, for our communities. We need to save as many people as we can while we still can. And like I said, this is not a training this is me having a conversation with you one-on-one -on -one right now. This is me making you aware of the real things that are happening in our day-to-day -day lives that some of us are not even aware of. Pay attention to what's going on. One day it was the vid. The next day it was this, the, the, the V. The next day now is the, the monkey thing. Every day is something new. One day is the war. One day is school shootings. It's all a distraction from what's really going on behind closed doors, fam. I want you guys to understand that. Are those things happening? Of course they are. Yes, they are. Are there people really catching these things and these things are really happening? Of course, because it's set up. But it's set up to keep us in fear, to keep us distracted. Remember, when we are in fear, they can control us. You think if all of us were, think about it, family. Wake up real quick. If we were all vibrating at the highest level, right? What's the highest level on the emotional intelligence, right? The highest level on the emotional guidance scale is joy, knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, appreciation. If we were all vibrating at that level, we'll be able to create the life that we want. We'll be in control. Because it's more of us versus less of them. We would all be in control. If we think about that, if we knew how to how to create our own reality, none of you guys would be working. How would you work if you know how to create the life of your dreams? Why would you settle for eighty thousand dollars? Not even eighty thousand. Why would you settle for forty, fifty thousand dollars a year when you know how to make that a month? When you know how to make that a week? They don't want you to think like that. They want you to be a part of the system. Guys, please wake up. How can you think if they are controlling everything? They're controlling your food. They're controlling your pay. They're controlling when you go to work, what time you get out, what time you have lunch, when you could go on vacation. But you don't know that you can actually con live your own life. You can actually create your own reality. But for that, you got to have this right here. Look. You got to have heart for that one because you got to be stronger than the system. 
you got to be wiser than the system. You have to be able to put yourself in a position where if you don't understand it, right, you got to find everything, pos any possible way to understand it. Guys, pay attention. It's all a system. I run a business, okay? If, if, if my business doesn't have systems, my business falls. Trust me, I built a business with no systems and it fell. If it wasn't for the systems in my business, I wouldn't have a business. I wouldn't earn what I earn if it wasn't for the system. Now, this is at a this is at a, on a micro scale. I'm talking about on a macro scale. I'm talking about the biggest system of them all. And all I want to do is make sure that I wake you guys up. Guys, there's so much stuff out there. I could go down too many rabbit holes. Even something to as simple as the, the lotion that we put on our skin, the the toothpaste that we use to brush our teeth, everything, bro. The things that we use to wash our hairs, everything, everything. And I need you guys to truly understand this. The deodorant, you have to be extremely aware. I've met people, listen to me, guys. I've met people who are extremely tapped in with this information. Like, I've met people that grow their own food. I've met people that don't only eat alkaline and plant-based foods. Like, I've met woke, 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 woke people. Like, they have, um, Adam, if you're on this call, what's the name of those those uh, EMF protectors, right? Those EMF things. They have those all over their houses. EMF is things... Uh, they have like these, uh, I forgot what they're called, but they're like these templates where you, you, you are able to, you know, block off all the radiation and the waves that come from the 5G towers and from all of this stuff. That's another thing you guys don't even know about. You know that the... <laughs> You know when the whole pandemic happened and they forced everybody inside? You know when they forced everybody inside for months? You know what they were doing while, while everybody was inside? They were installing 5G towers all over our communities. Installed 5G everywhere. Think, think about this stuff, bro. Think about this stuff. 5G towers, all of that radiation keeps us at low vibrations. Look this stuff up. Do your own research, bro. We could go deeper now. You want to talk about food shortages? Man, we could go down that road as well. And so what's going on with that? Family, we need to wake up for real for real and the reason why i tell you guys to wake up is because we got to put ourselves in a position where we become the best 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 version of ourselves okay that is the only way that we are going to be able to become and be able to take advantage of everything that's happening right now why do you think the Kevin Trudeau videos get taken down? Why do you think that happens? It's because of the information that gets shared on this call. Who knows? This call might get taken down. But at least you heard me. At least for the people who are on the call, you guys heard me. Right? We solid. I'm with God. I'm good. I know we solid. Okay? But I want the family to wake up. If I can wake up as many people as I can, there's so many things, bro. They spray art. They, you don't even know that they spray the air. You see those, those trails that you guys see in the sky sometimes? Those are not people doing tricks and stuff in the air, right? 
they spray things in the air called chemtrails. The air that we breathe is not as good as you think. Why you think I tell you guys go and spend time in nature? Go spend time in nature. Go go. Why, why you think I go and meditate under a tree and I'm always around nature? I thought it was the airplanes. No, 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 mommy. Trust me, it's not the airplanes. You got to make sure you guys are honestly, like I said, waking up and smelling the coffee. At this point, remember, we can't control that. It's too much. I can't control it. It's too much. Right? That's why a lot of people don't even speak about this stuff because it's 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 something that those who know, they know, and those who don't, they don't. You figure it out if you can. I'm serious. That's... Why you don't hear people really talking about this stuff? You ever think about that stuff? There's people that know this stuff. There's people that can dive deep into this stuff, but it's just too risky of a... It's too risky of a job to do. It's too risky of a, of a, of a road to go down. Seriously. And like Berta said, most people don't want to risk their lives. That's why I keep all of this stuff very surface level. Because we can dive deep into this and and, 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 and I could go and, and get famous off of it, but I don't want to. Because then I'll have a target on me if I do. Because the moment you go against them and they know you and you hear and they hear you out, they're coming for you. So I just rather keep it between us, the family, and we save who we can by, you know what, word of mouth. We just keep it between us, family. That's how you got to do it. You save who you can while you can. For real. Put your people on. Wake people up around you. Those who don't want to wake up, let them, let them do what they want to do. They won't wake up. Some will, some won't. And we got to understand this, remember, too, as well, guys. In life, we are here. Listen to me. In life, we are here to serve our purpose, right? The first thing that everybody here on this call must focus on is finding your purpose. If you need help finding your purpose... I want you to read this book. It's called Purpose Driven Life. All right. Find your purpose. Find something that you're passionate about and dedicate your life to it. Dedicate your life to it. Make money. The reason why you think I work so hard. Because in order for me to live the life that I want to live, it's going to cost me a lot of money. In order for me to have a private chef that's only cooking very specific meals to the point where every ingredient is homemade and plant-based and the water that I drink and the massages that we need and everything that we need, guys, I, I, I want you guys to understand how important this is, what I'm sharing with you guys. Okay, this is as valuable as information as anybody can ever give you. If you don't have the income, you can't control that. You have to get to the point where you're making so much money, okay, that now you can take care of your health. Now you can buy expensive and good natural products. You can invest into a chef, right? You can have an alkaline water machine in your house. You can do things differently. You can travel. You can live on a beach somewhere, by nature somewhere. This is what it's about, but it takes money to do this. And look at what they're doing. Pay attention. Gas prices, all-time highs. Food prices, all-time highs. Everything is at an all-time high in price, but guess what? People are making the same amount of money. How does that make sense? 
How does that make sense? Everything went up. Rent went up. Money, I mean, rent went up. Prices went up. Food went up. Everything went up. And we are here. The same money. Why you think they do that? Not 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 just for not just for control, but the reason why they also do that is because they don't want people to take advantages of these low prices because only the rich people are going to be able to do this now. Buy, 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 buy these stocks, buy these houses, buy these cryptos, buy this. Only people who have money are going to be able to buy everything now. Pay attention, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Pay attention. Look, only people that can that have the money that have been saving, that have good income, that have can buy these things. Most people right now are worried about their next meal. They're worried about their next check to come so that they can pay off all the debt that they have. How are you going to invest? How are you going to be able to go buy a house and buy it at a low price? How are you going to go be able to buy these cryptos and these stocks and all of these things when you're not even aware of this information? You don't even know what's happening. You're more focused on the recession and on monkeypox and this and that. You're not going to you think people you think the people, the five percent is really paying attention to that. They're in the background like this. Hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. Let's buy this house. Let's put a hundred thousand into crypto over here. Let's put two hundred thousand into this stock right here. Let's buy stocks of Apple. This boom, 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 boom. And guess what? They buy all of that, and then they just wait. They just sit back, relax, and they join and they enjoy the show. Two years from now, the investments that they made now are going to be multi, multi, multi millions of dollars. And while everybody else got broker, they got richer. While everybody else is just trying to find a way to pay off this debt and pay off these bills, while they were worried about that, these people were buying, 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 and they were just coming up. Wake up and smell the coffee, guys. Think about it. Let's be honest. There's there's some of you guys on this call. Some of you guys don't have the money to invest right now. And that's not just you. That's the whole world. That's majority of the world. You think it's just you? It's majority of the world. Nobody's worried about, <laughs> you think people are worried about stocks right now? People are trying to figure out when's their next meal, when, how are they going to pay off these bills and everything for their families? People don't got time and money to invest right now. That, that's, that's irrelevant to them. Irrelevant. And guess what? They're going to focus on that over the next two years because of the situation that they're in now, that when everything takes off, they're going to be like, wow, all of this stuff happened. And they're going to be living the exact same life two years from now while there were people that were getting rich and making more money than they've ever made in their whole entire life because of the decisions that they made while all of this was going on. It's part of the control. I want you guys to know this. Why you think I'm expanding my, my different sources of income? Why you think I'm going harder now than, I'm, than I've ever gone before? My business is recession proof. Think about it. My business is recession proof. I'm part of the system where they get rich out of. Trading, crypto, stocks, e-commerce, travel, right? My business is perfect. My business is recession proof. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm excited. I say, yo, I literally sat there today and I said, yo, I am so thankful for the business and the platform that I'm a part of. I'm so grateful for it, bro. You know why I'm also so grateful? Because I'm a part of a network marketing business. Think about this. I want you guys to think about this really quick with me. 
Think about how powerful network marketing is about to be in the next two years. Just sit down and think about this. And this is not me convincing you to join my business. Nothing is not about that. I just want you guys to think about how I'm thinking. Are trading profits taxable? Yes. You, you pay taxes on everything. But just think about this, right? We are in a recession. And my business is recession proof. Now, there's a lot of people that need to find ways to make other sources of income because as we all know a job is not going to do it starting a business is too expensive right starting a traditional business is too expensive way too expensive right so what do i do as a network marketer my job as a network marketer i don't you think i care about what people say that people think that oh network marketing doesn't work it's a scam you got to recruit. It's all myths. Those are all people that knew nothing about what they were talking about. They never became professionals, right? But remember this. Now, my business is networking, right? It's marketing a product to a network of people. Look how awesome this is. My job now, one of my one of my incomes is marketing a product to a network of people, right? What is my product? My product is digital entrepreneurship education teaching people how to become digital entrepreneurs which is recession proof if you learn how to trade if you learn how to invest into crypto if you learn how to you know do any network marketing business if you learn about e-commerce if you learn any about this stuff right you are a part of a network marketing business so now I market my product to a network of people that needs it. How many people need this information right now? Everybody. So I'm going to get paid for networking with people that need the product that I use. And the product that I use helps people. It's not like I'm taking money from people or selling them, you know, hand sanitizer. And I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm helping people make money. I'm helping people make passive income. I'm helping people learn a skill set. That can change their life forever so they can be in control it's up to the person though now to develop that skill set and stay committed to it i can't control what the results that they get because guess what they have to get on that for example give me let me give you guys an example i had a great conversation with my e-commerce mentor the other day he said nano people make more money in the fourth quarter of the year than in any other quarter of the year so you make more money in the fourth quarter than in the first three quarters of the year. And I said, why is that? He said, well, you have Labor Day, you have back to school, you have Columbus Day, you have Halloween, you have Thanksgiving, you have Black Friday, you have Christmas, you have New Year's. If you have an e-commerce store, what is an e-commerce store? Buying and selling products online, which means that you are not, think about it, you don't physically own the product, Okay. You just know how to buy a product wholesale, put it on a Shopify store for a certain price. Okay, so let's say, you know, I bought this hand sanitizer for 10 bucks wholesale. All right, but I'm selling it on Amazon on my Shopify store for $40. Okay, I don't have to know the product. I don't have to ship the product. All I need to know is where to buy it wholesale and then sell it on my store for a good profit. And think about it. If I'm buying at 10 I'm selling at 40. That means I'm making $30 on every single hand sanitizer that I buy. Now, imagine if I sell 100 of those. If I sell 100 at $30 profits, that's $3,000 that I just made in a week. Imagine if you're selling 500, 1,000, 2,000 products. So I said, bro, you sold me. I'm doing it. And now I'm launching my e-commerce business. And I'm going to be doing it with him. I said, look, the only way I'll do it is if you personally mentor me. That's what I told him. I said, the only way I'll do it is if you personally mentor me. He said, say less. We will do only we will do one call a week where I personally mentor you. So on Sunday, we start today and tomorrow. I'm going to be showing how it works. Right. He's going to jump on a call. He's going to show people how it works on Sunday. Once a week, he's going to be doing a private call for two hours, showing us how to do this. So we can be prepared for what? September, October, November, and December. 
extra income. What do I get to do it right from here? From my phone and from laptop, I don't got to check. I don't got to check in anywhere. I don't have to do nothing. I'm learning how to make my own income. And and guess what? You know what he said as well? He said, bro, right now, only 30% of sales are online. He said over the next few years, that's going to jump up to 95% of sales are going to be online. So one of the best skills that you can learn in the decade of the 2020s is learning how to build online stores and learning how to do e-commerce. And, there, and I'm doing a free call over the next two days with him so you can learn about it. It's free. You don't got to just hop on. Check what it's about. 8 p.m. Eastern. Go on my story. And I think. And I get you guys plugged in. I, I want all of us to make money. I want all of us to make money. You think I don't I don't care. Like, I just want all of us to make money. I want all of us to be aware of what's going on so that that way you're like, damn, let me make money because I don't, I don't, I don't want to be the only one making money. I don't want to be the only one that, that has a store making me hundreds and thousands of dollars when I have hundreds of thousands of people that need this money too, that I need you guys to get money too, because we need this money so we can eat healthier. We can be healthier. We can do everything better. That's all I want. I want us all to eat. I want us all to wake up. I want us all to make sure that we put our families in position. Right? Look, somebody said in the chat box, yes, e-commerce is the wave. I know people that are making millions from it. I want to make sure we all eat. And you know what's the good thing about it? I don't have a store. Let me tell you guys the best part about it. Right. I don't have a store. So he's I'm going to be a student with you guys. I'm going to be a student. So I'm going to be on the call as a student and I'm going to be learning with you. It's not like I already have a store and I'm teaching. you. I know you guys are going to see nano and student. mode. we're going to be in the same classroom. And for once, I'm going to be a student, not the teacher. Right. And you can learn. Look, Delina, you could sell your teeth products in the e-commerce store. Anything. You can find whatever you want and we can find it. Tiara, you could, I could have taught you. Yeah, but you know. But lock in with me. Let me know. But going back to what I'm saying, so we could wrap this up. And if you guys want more information on it, just message me, ECX, whatever, and I get you guys plugged in tonight at 8 p.m. And I also probably go live on Instagram so that people can know about it. But the whole purpose of what I was talking about today is I wanted everybody to wake up. And smell the coffee. Okay. I wanted everybody to wake up and smell the coffee. Outside of the money, outside of the different sources of income. Okay. I want all of us to become the best version of ourselves. How do we do that? I covered it yesterday on the call. I told you guys, number one, do your morning routine all 30 days. I told you guys, write a letter to yourself. I told you guys to identify the areas in your life where you are weak and start to develop them. Have a scheduled routine and be intentional. Do this. Look, guys, I'm not even at the best version of myself. I'm not even close to that, but I'm working towards it every day. Am I more woke? Am I, do I have a little bit more wisdom and a little bit more experience? Yes, absolutely. But we are all on the same page. I am working every day to become the best version of myself every single day, because at the end of the day, that's the only thing that matters. While all of this is happening, I am the happiest. I am at the most peace. I am, I am filled with love and more gratitude than I can ever imagine during these times. Think about that. The world is falling apart in front of our eyes, but I'm more happy, more grateful, and more at peace than I've ever been in my whole life. You know why? Because I know who I am. I know what I'm here for. I understand my purpose. You understand how good of a feeling that is? to have the feeling that I have every single day. So where I wake up every single day, happy, excited, blessed, grateful for where I'm at in life. 
this this is priceless. When does the fourth quarter begin? Fourth quarter begins October 1st. Fourth quarter begins October 1st. You got to wake up, family. And like I said, pay attention to the food that you're eating. Pay attention to how this all is working, guys. Understand that this is all a system. And you got to know how to break out of the system. Most of us have not found, if, if you still work a job, if you still eat the foods, if you still do all of this stuff, you are part of the system, unfortunately. You are in the system. If you depend on somebody else to pay you, you are in the system. Respectfully, okay? You, you are in the system, respectfully, because... You got to think about it, right? If it's not for them, you don't get paid because you depend on them. You depend on the system for your for your your own needs. So as long as you are under their control, they're in control of you, which means you do what they say, you eat what they say, you listen to what they have to say, and you put yourself long enough in that system and there's no coming out of it. And this is, and you know, what's the hardest part about it is that everybody around you will convince you to stay there because misery loves company. Everybody wake up. Okay. Everything that I said today comes from my heart. It came with nothing but good intentions. I didn't want to make anybody on this call feel bad. I didn't want to scare anybody. I didn't want to make anybody feel any kind of way. My goal with this call was to wake you guys up and light a fire inside of you guys to be like, you know what, Nano? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I am going to become my own boss. I'm going to take control of my own retirement. I'm going to take control of my own things so that that way I can live the life of my dreams and my family can do the same as well. Don't get sold on these 401ks and retirement plans and none of that stuff. That stuff is all cap. You are in control of your retirement. Don't worry about they, they sell you on, oh, but you need health insurance and all of that stuff. When you have money, you can pay for your own stuff. You can get your own private doctors. What, what would you need to go to? What, what would you need to go to the hospital for if you're fully healthy and happy every single day? What do you need to go to the hospital for? If you're healthy and vibrating high every single day and your body and your systems is all good, what do you need to go to the hospital for? Only reason you would have to go to the hospital is because you're being fed the food and everything else. Wake up, fam, please, everybody, please wake up. This will probably be the only time that I talk about this this year. Something told me this morning, it was so random. I was brushing my teeth and I was looking in the mirror and something told me, wake up the fam this morning. And the topic came to my head, wake up and smell the coffee. And I said, that's going to be my topic today. This is why I'm so hard on some of the people on my team. Look, for example, if, if there's anybody here on my team that's a leader, right? This is why sometimes I am so on top of you guys to work, to lead, to do what you're supposed to do. You know why? Because I don't ever want to see you guys go down that path. You understand what I'm saying? I care too much about you and your family's future to allow you to continue to fall into the system and keep yourself at a low vibration. This is why I move the way that I move. This is why I do the this is why I move with the in with, with the urgency that I move is because we don't have a lot of time. Like I said, all we got is from now till 2025. That is our window of opportunity right there. 
we have two to two and a half years of an opportunity to take advantage. If you don't, you're done. In our lifetime, this may be the only time in our lifetime where we get this opportunity. And no, it is not too late, but you got to start today. You got to start today, fam. Work on yourself, develop yourself, help people around you, look for different streams of income, be open-minded, find ways to beat the system. That's the goal. How can we beat the system? Because not everybody does it. Very small percentage of people actually beat it. I'm going to beat it. Okay? I am going to beat it. I'm almost there. All right? You guys follow my lead. And I will make sure I get us to freedom, bro. But you have to and you must follow what I'm telling you. We are going to beat it, okay? I promise you that we will beat this system, guaranteed. But you have to listen to me. You have to allow me to guide you and mentor you. And you have to understand that it is a process for us to do this. All right, fam. So put a 333 in the chat box if you're going to beat this system, all right? We're going to beat this system. Put a 333 in the chat box. Right? Because this is what we got right here. And like I said, everything I said today came from nothing but a good heart. All right? I am grateful for all of you. It wasn't meant to scare you. It wasn't meant to anything. It was all meant for you to just wake up. Wake up and smell that coffee, fam. For real. Because at the end of the day, we all we got. This is think about it. We all we got. We don't got anybody else. They're not gonna help us. They're trying to control us. That's why we can't even be competing against each other because we really all we got. We are all we got. If it's not us, then what? That's why we gotta have each other's back. That's why we got to support each other. That's why we got to celebrate each other. That's why we got to, when we see, when we see, when we see um, individuals that start new businesses, support them. When you see an opportunity to make money, join them, right? You have to be the type of person that sees what's going on and takes advantage of the opportunity. It's us. And it's us against them, to be honest. And you know what they want to do? They want to put us against each other. Think about it. What do they say? Put put what what is it that they say? Put a bunch of ants together, right? In in a little cup. Leave them there. They're all good. You shake up the cup, and now they're fighting and killing each other. But what the ants don't know it was that they're not the problem. It was the person that shook the jar. That's the problem. And they are shaking the jar. And they put us against each other. That's what religion is for. That's what everything is happening now with Hispanics, Asians, African Americans, whites. But we are all one community, which is humans, human beings. That's a whole nother conversation that we could go down that. There's just so many that we can go down. But I just want all of us to wake up, fam. There's a lot, a lot of stuff out there that we don't know. We are all one family, one group. Doesn't matter if you're white, black, Hispanic, Asian, you name it, doesn't matter. We are all a family. We are all one community. We are all under one roof. We are all God's children. And we are here to serve our purpose. And our purpose is to help as many people as we can. But in order for us to help people, we need to help ourselves first. If you want to be the one that breaks the system, if you want to help your community, 
If I want to save all my friends and family in the streets, I need to break the system first. They got to see that we do it. And unfortunately, that's the way our life goes. People got to see you do it in order for them to do it. And that's what it takes. All right, fam. So I love you guys. Sorry if I went a little bit over, but I wanted to I wanted this message to hit differently. Um, like I said, just stay awake. OK. Don't go down that rabbit hole if you don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Stay up. I didn't I didn't want to offend anybody. I just wanted to make all of us aware of what's going on so you can see it. And regardless of what's going on in the world, every single day you are working on yourself. Every single day you are writing these journals, right? You know how dope it's going to be for my kids to read these journals 20 years from now and be like, wow, dad, like while all of that stuff was happening, this is how you were thinking. This is what you were doing. These were the books that you were reading during this time, dad. You're the man. You're the man. Because they're going to be able to see it. They're going to be able to read it. They're going to be able to see how I felt during those times. So I'm going to do a quick prayer for us. And then we're going to go, fam. Everybody bow your heads and let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for blessing us with this beautiful Tuesday morning filled with your love and your appreciation. Today we went over some very, very important topics, God. And I just want to thank you for giving me the idea today to, to wake up the family. You gave us some phenomenal information that a lot of us needed to hear and to understand. And I truly believe that what your goal was, we accomplished it. We definitely woke a lot of people up today on today's call. And I know that moving forward, a lot of people are going to be a lot more aware of the things that they eat, everything that has to do with systems. And most importantly, just getting closer to you and becoming the best version of themselves so that we can be examples for others. We want to thank you so much for always being there for us and guiding us during this journey. I ask God that you protect me and that you protect the whole entire family during these times and that you, you know, basically don't allow any of these diseases or any of these things or any of these bad mindsets and energy to come within our bodies or within our aura. Protect us of anything that does not align with you, God. Anything that doesn't align with you, God, protect us from it, guide us away from it, and put us in a position where we only accept nothing but love, positivity, peace, freedom, and enlightenment, God. That's all we want, and that's all we want to accept. Anything that doesn't align with that, we reject it at all costs, God. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything. Protect our families, protect everybody out there. Let's wake up as many people as we can, because as many people as we save, will be as many people as we impact God. So we love you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate you so much. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right. I was super grateful for that prayer. That was a dope prayer right there. God is on our side. God is protecting us. Um, like I said, again, stay locked in, work on yourself. I know some of you guys are going through some tough times, but don't let the tough times blind you from working on yourself every day. That is the key right now is working on you every single day and looking for different streams of income. If you're looking for different streams of income, let me know. I can plug you in. I know so many other ways, bro. I can help if you need help with anything online businesses if you need help getting a job whatever i'm the plug for everything if you want to learn about ec if you want to learn about e-commerce message me e-commerce or message me ecx all right and i'll get you guys plugged into the free call there's going to be a free call today and tomorrow check it out it's free if you like it you like it and if you don't you don't i just want you to know that at least i put you on all right fam so i love you guys i appreciate you guys um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed just yet. Like this video if you haven't liked this video. Um, follow me on Instagram at Long Live Nano. Long Live Nano. It is my only Instagram. I don't have no other Instagrams outside of that. Um, you can follow me on Twitter as well. It might be easier to message me on Twitter because I don't have a lot of messages on Twitter. My Twitter is Live Love Nano. Um, and then if you want to listen to my podcast and other stuff that I've done. Follow also as well, um, Mornings with Nano on on um, 
Apple, Spotify, Our Heart Radio, Amazon Music, and SoundCloud as well, fam. Um, I'm very, very excited for what we're going to do. I know times are, are hard and, you know, things are crazy right now, but we're going to prevail and we're going to be the ones that change the world. I guarantee you that. We will be the one that will change the world. MMX is probably going to be starting in September when everything is all finalized and everything. So well, I'll keep you guys updated on the MMX, but a lot of things are in the works and good stuff is coming with that as well. All right, guys. So like this video. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys um, tomorrow for another episode of Mornings with Nano. God bless, fam. Enjoy.